If you're someone who does high intensity interval training or HIT and is considering a pair of shoes specifically for this purpose, stay where you are. I put the Nike Air Zoom Super Reps through their paces in the exact areas that they need to be and here's my review. I first heard about these a few years ago. If you don't know about these, these are the Nike Air Zoom Super Reps and they are training shoe designed specifically for HIIT workouts. So that's more of the fast paced workouts that include things like box jumps, big bursts of energy and short runs and faster paced exercises. The design of them is quite an acquired taste, very bulbous and futuristic looking. I personally didn't like them myself to begin with and another thing with me is that I have big feet and I feel shoes look very different depending on what size they are. So basically the bulbous and the chunky look of these shoes is even more magnified because of the size of my foot. But what I'm more attracted to is what I heard some other reviewers say about the shoes in terms of their comfort and performance when working out. I was also attracted to the air zoom feature. Some reviewers I've seen mention that the air zoom feature makes you jump considerably higher and cushions your landing somewhat better than a normal pair of shoes would. I could believe that because I recently purchased the Nike Zoom X Next Percent, a running shoe that has the same zoom features. When I first tried them on, I was blown away at how springy they were. When I first tried these on, however, there wasn't that strong bouncy feeling that I was expecting. I did box jumps, I did sprints outside and a bunch of other moves and there wasn't that spring that I heard so much about. There was however a more cushiony feeling upon landing from whatever move I was doing, which is in fact more important. You want to feel like you're being protected when you're pushing yourself really hard during your HIIT workouts. Because of their intensity of movement, injury can be more of a possibility during these workouts so they're very cushiony for landing. But one thing I didn't like about these is the lacing system. It just didn't feel that secure for me when I was running. After lacing them up before going for a run, they felt okay. But after running for about 10 minutes, my foot was shifting within the materials as if the laces weren't secure, but they were. It was quite odd. These are definitely not a running shoe. Another thing with these is that when you walk wearing these, they tend to creak. The creak when I looked closer into it is actually the air zoom compartment. The creak was quite loud when I was walking down the street and it did get quite annoying. But the good thing about these is that they're very grippy, even on wet surfaces, something that some Nike shoes aren't very good at. If you do go out for a run on a wet day, these will keep you planted and keep you well gripped safely to the roads. The question is this, would I recommend them? I personally feel that high intensity interval training isn't something that you really need a specific shoe for. Yes, it's great that there's an option out there, but there are a plethora of other shoes out there that have zoom-like cushioning that I feel would do the same job maybe even a better job than these do, such as the Pegasus or the Zoom Tempo Next Percent. So that was my take on the Nike Air Zoom Super Reps. Do you own a pair for yourself or are you thinking about buying a pair for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Check out listedfit.com for the definitive list of the top five cross-training shoes out right now. You don't want to miss it. Link is in the description.